Today, we're going to bring an endoscope camera. Now, this one has two different cameras. It has a, a point camera and a side camera, and it comes with LED lights. So we're going to take a look at it and see what you get when you get something like this. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, let's take a look at the unit itself, all right? They give you the manual itself, all right? This is pretty important to understand the system itself. Uh, they give you the charging station, which is a micro USB, all right? Just be aware. It's a really short connection, maybe uh, less than a foot long, uh, really short connection. And they give you extra accessories. Now, these are actually very important because I'm going to show you guys what they are. These are pretty much like hooks to actually grab things with the... So if you lose a ring on your faucet or anything like that, you can actually extract the ring with this with using the camera itself. And also other items. So they give you a little hook here. And they give you another extension here with a magnet, all right? This is a magnet. Uh, this will pick up any kind of metal piece that you drop. Say you lose a screw uh, underneath a, a sink or something or in a pipe. You can always extract with this. So they give you a little hook and a magnet and then a, a ring pretty much. So that's a pretty good unique um, thing that they add to this system. So we're going to little go in depth and see how to use it. But first of all, we're going to end up using it right now. I'm, I'm currently have a car leak of uh, water leaking on the on the actual radiator. I need to know exactly where if it's coming off the radiator or if it's coming off the another reservoir. So we're going to take a look at that and also go into depth how to use this thing. So let's go ahead and review this thing first. All right. First of all, we're going to put the micro SD card. If you guys can see it, I'm going to put the micro SD. There's an SD card system here in the side of it. And just be aware, be careful how you put the card in. So you definitely have to push it in and you have to hear that little click. Once it goes in, you're set. Now to turn it on is easy. There's an on and off button here and there's a brightness in here and the charging station is right underneath of it, all right? Uh, there's pretty much nothing on this side. It, it, this is really rugged and it's also, and it's a little bit waterproof too. So that's another great thing about it. Now the button, the functions are really simple. Um, to use. All right, let's let's go ahead and review the buttons. All right, first of all, on the buttons, if you guys can see, uh, you get a menu button and also a reverse to uh, a menu button and a return button. Right. This is the camera mode. You have the OK. You have an up arrow and then down arrow, and this is the memory to access the memory. All right. So let's turn it on. First time turning it on, we're gonna crank it up. If you can see it, it's turning on, and I'm gonna try to fit the whole thing in here and get the camera really close so you can read some maybe some stuff in on it, right? So if you guys can see, there's two cameras right now. I'm I'm actually using both cameras. Um, pretty simple. Two cameras, two dual cameras right now. So let me explain to you. This camera here is in the side right here, which is right here. I'm actually pointing in there, and the other one is right in the front. All right. So there's two cameras now. They are some, you go, go to different options, of course. We're going to go back out. And in the menu bar, it's very simple here. On the menu bar, you have photos. You can access your photos. Um, you Down arrow, like I said, down arrow. And you can access your videos from here. Your resolution, you could change it, right? This is the highest that you can go. Your language, the brightness, time setting, and then time step on every single um, video that you have. Format. This is formatting your whole system, and you also you can reset back to system um, how you bought it when you purchase it. You can reset everything, even the timer itself. All right. So this is very unique. Now, when you want to access your stuff, like for example, I do have a video in here. We could access our video by going in here and hitting OK, the button OK. Once you hit OK, you can see the videos that we have. You could go up and down, but I only have one video at the moment because. Um, I, I like to film one item at a time now to go back. Like I said, there's a reverse a return button. It goes back and right now, like you see, you have all the cameras now to start filming. Um, you could do dual cameras if you want. It's a, it's your option if you want, but, um, uh, some people don't like to do the two cameras and then let's go back to memory. So here on the M, if you can see it, you could do the two cameras. You could change it to one camera if you want or two. So right now we're going to go back to one camera. If you guys can see that, this is the one camera I'm, I'm doing. I'm right in the front of it. But if you keep hitting this, it goes to the side camera. All right. By hitting the M right here. So we're going to do dual cameras. We can do dual cameras. It goes, it splits in half and half. But right now we're just going to go back to the center camera because I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. Now, once you have the center camera, if you guys can see, I'm going to put it right in front of the, the camera here. Very simple on the camera. So on the side panel here, what you can do is you could scroll up to turn on the LED light. You see that LED light? Scroll down to control the LED light. Very simple. The side scroll is, is going to control everything in here. To record, 
you could hold the button once to take a picture first, all right? That's to take a picture, but to record, you have to hold down the button and then the timer starts right on the top, if you guys can see it. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit in depth how you can see that. Let me turn this around. Very simple, capturing some of the lettering here. Um, easy to use. It's not that very difficult to use this, this whole system itself. Uh, I had a little problem with um, me getting familiar with the actual string because the string is a little tight. It's a little um, uh, getting used to because you don't know if you're upside down or not. You, there is no point of view pretty much. This is the camera that you see and this is the side camera. So when you put it down the drain or anything like that, you got to memorize yourself which angle is the one that's facing the camera. So that's one thing you have to remember how to use. Other than that, let me stop the video. So we hit the, again, we hit that and it completely stops the video. But overall, very, very, very simple to use the system. Um, easy as turning off and on button, charging it will last you many hours if we one charge. There's no battery requirement. Everything is charged within itself. Um, very rugged, um, you could drop this. Water resistance is not waterproof completely, but there's water resistance for any kind of moisture, especially for those that are working in the plumbing industry. This is a perfect device to go underneath the desk, underneath the pipes and check it out. And this, they'll give you a long, long, long cable and easy to control. My suggestion is um, when you wrap it around, you can always stretch it out and, and, and have it fixed one way. You don't have to use the whole ribbon itself. You could use just half of it if it's not that much that you need to require. All right, guys, so today, let's take a look at our Jeep in here and we're gonna look at where this water is coming from. It keeps leaking water fluid and I'm not quite sure where exactly to start with. So we're gonna go ahead and use the camera and set it out to some area, see if we could locate some of the um, leaks. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and take it for a spin and, and make sure we can find that leak that's coming from because um, if you guys can see the leaks there. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Ninety nine point six of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.